Hi, my name is Andy Hughes. I'm an Applications Engineer with Cadence Design Systems and I'm going to talk to you today about the simulation of an edge coupled filter using microwave with clarity. Uh, edge coupled filters are a common uh, structure used in uh, microwave engineering. Uh, they, are, they can be quite demanding from an electromagnetic simulation point of view. Um, they also uh, re usually uh, require the presence of conducting walls because this is very often the way in which they are actually implemented. Um, this uh, this uh, project that I'm showing you here was originally created using an Axiom simulator which is a very competent uh, what you might call 2.5D simulator but it cannot account for the presence of conducting walls so hence we're moving to an FEM simulator uh, uh, in this case. So let's take a look at this uh, uh, project. It's in two pieces. Uh, this first one shows you a filter. This one actually um, is, uh, has, is not done without sidewalls. And the reason for this is that the project also includes measured data. This filter was actually manufactured and made, and we have real uh, measurements against which to j compare the, uh, the results of the EM simulation. So how does the EM simulation do? Well. If I look, bring up this graph, you can see that it actually performs very well. So the red traces show the measurement. This, uh, as you can see, we've got a passband of somewhere in the region of 20, uh, 23 to 24 gigahertz. And the FEM simulator shows very good fidelity uh, to the measurements uh, right down into the, uh, deep into the rejection bands. Uh, so the purpose of this first half of the project is primarily to show you that cl uh, Clarity uh, is good at, at uh, simulating this type of structure. It's also very quick. Uh, one of the uh, Clarity's great selling points is that it is a very efficient and fast simulator. This particular simulation took only two and a half minutes on a six-core laptop. So now uh, we've established the, uh, the integrity of the simulator. I want to show you the second part of this project. So uh, well, let's, let's bring the walls into play. What I did with this was I took that, uh, that in structure and I rotated the structure. So I rotated, so I rotated it to show a minimum cross-sectional area in the uh, longitudinal direction uh, of, of, the, of signal travel, if you want to call it that. And then I wanted to investigate uh, the, what happens when you put walls around it and also what happens when you vary the uh, wall separation. So I used a feature in Microwave Office called a parameterized modifier. So this shape here and the dotted line is the, uh, is the simulation boundary. That's where, the, in other words, that's where the walls are. And then I also created this uh, thing here and I am stepping this, uh, the separation of the outer edges to, the, to these vertices by spacings of one, two, and three substrate heights. In this, in this case, this is a 0.25 millimeter or 10 mil thick Rogers substrate. So this is what our simulation is actually going to look like in terms of the structure and, the, and all the surrounding boundary conditions. So it, it, it is totally enclosed in a conducting boundary condition. And when we run that simulation, uh, you'll see in this thing called the EM schematic, we've got something called a sweep var. This is the thing we use to control that uh, the, uh, separation of the walls. And this shows you the effect of these walls. So the red data is the original uh, measured data. So that's without walls. And this shows you what happens when you put a, a conducting boundary close to the uh, filter. And as you can see, it does markedly affect and in deleteriously affect the performance of that structure. It's also interesting just to compare that against the, uh, the simulation uh, without, without these walls. And you can see that it obviously uh, doesn't seem to be having too much of an effect on the, uh, on the upper band, but in the lower band there is a significant contraction in the filter bandwidth and a degradation of the pass, of the pass band. So in summary, Clarity gives you the ability, uh, because of its fast simulation speeds and its accuracy, to be able to investigate the, uh, the real-world performance of your filter when uh, placed in, you know, in the operating environment for which it's intended, and uh, then it will allow you to go on and hopefully take uh, measures to uh, mitigate the uh, effects of those enclosures. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to cadence.com.